Hello, so welcome to this tutorial where I am going to show you a shortcut to color grading. Well, not just any kind of color grading, I'm talking about cinematic color grading. So, as it is the culture in these tutorials, it is the culture that we automate all kinds of work. So, here I have is a, is a video file that I rendered in Blender. And as you can see, the file is um, it it has a very low contrast. It was rendered with the filmic filmic Blender add add-on. So by <coughs> you might have noticed that uh, maybe you haven't, but this image looks pale and it looks like it doesn't have any color on it, and that is good because it gives us freedom to come and color grade it here. So once you are already in this course you will have access to these color grading files so essentially what you have to do when you color grading you come here in adobe premiere to the part where it says color you click here and you will have the option for color grading so you come to this part here where it says creative you must make sure your clip is selected and here on the part where it says creative you come here to the look which it says none for now then we just come here and we select one of these color grading presets that we have right here and um, so as you can see when you come here there is a romantic there is a, these the ones that have written romantic in are the ones which are you know they have this kind of romantic tone to it so when you you have a a romantic setting you know that kind of setting so this this romantic color color lookup tables they will give you that romantic feeling to your scene and the rest are cinematic so when i say cinematic i'm the rest are just blockbuster cinematic so it's not it's not just any kind of cinematic it is blockbuster cinematic and as you can see here i have the popular teal and orange color grading so this is like the cinematic cinematic and then we have this other delivered derived end of this teal and orange but you know so all you have to do is um depending on what kind of situation that you 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 have you can select any of these and once you start playing with these you'll come to realize you know what kind of color grading preset works with what kind of color of, of uh, environment so yeah so here we have what we call the log and the wreck you know the reason why i have this is because uh, i'm also planning on expanding this website right now it's just on animation but later on i'm going to expand it to to automate even visual effects i know that sounds crazy but so this is going to be also um one day it's going to be called visual effects factory so for those people who will come to the point when they it, when it comes to the point of visual effects factory um this rec 709 and uh, will become very very important but as for now you can just select these uh, log 32 32 meaning meaning it's the color depth it's a 32 bit for 32 bit images so all you have to do is select this log 32 this is what happens so yeah we have our cinematic um color grading there we go so this is when i come and click here as you can see it looked colorless so one might be fooled when you're rendering like this you may think there is no color color data out on this part actually there is color data but because we have rendered it in a low contrast it preserves a lot of um, space for us when it comes to color grade to play with so as you can see voila and um so I'm just going to play around and show you the differences and I have two clips here I have this other one here and I have this one here but I'm going to play with this one so I'm going to select um, cinematic one so you can see the difference so you, you can clearly see there is a there's some changes that is happening and as you play more with this um, with these color grading presets you you come to appreciate how good they are they give you that cinematic look immediately so you get that cinematic look immediately so yeah so these are the color grading presets and this is how you 
you do the color grading process it's all automated so once you finished your once you're done editing you just come here you plug them in and you're done you're done with the whole color grading process and right after you reach to this point you just select what you prefer um, because color is something where you cannot create a movie where everybody is going to appreciate that color it usually it usually comes down to color grading I mean preference color preference and another thing I also I'd like to add you can also play with the intensity here so if you want it to you know to be fully on on or not you can just come here and play with the intensity here it's at 200 uh, and here it's at you know 94 90 watt so you can trick these around yeah so like I said color grading it's all about preference so you may hate it doesn't mean that it's wrong as long as you follow the color theory doesn't mean that it's wrong it's just not in your preference so thank you for watching this video tutorial uh, I'll be glad if you watch the next I'll be disappointed if you don't watch them and then you already paid for them so thank you